every second, every minute, man, I swear that she can get it. Say if you a bad bitch, put your hands up high, hands up high, hands up high. Tell them Hello, you guys, and welcome back to another video. Just real quick, I did want to say this video was filmed in 2023, December 16th to be exact. That is the day I was born. And I also wanted to say Happy New Year, Happy 2024. So honestly, this year for my birthday, I didn't want to go out of town. I just wanted to stay in town and figure out what to do in Houston. So I kind of got a late start in my day and I did my hair pretty late too, but it was cool because I woke up to a phone call from my parents and I was able to talk to my siblings and all that. So that was, I had a good time. Anyways, here I'm just straightening my hair. I don't straighten my hair a lot. I try to do it at least, or as least as possible. So maybe only three times a year because I have severe hair damage from all the times I bleached my hair red, but it was worth it. Anyways, that is what I'm doing here. I wish I would have done it the day before, but it's it's cool. It is what it is. I had a lot of fun. As you can see, Spider was making herself comfortable. It was hot, y'all. I forget how hot it is whenever you're using a straightener or any type of hot tool for your hair. It, it gets hot quick. Initially, when I started the video, I was wearing something else, but I changed into something more comfortable. Also, shout out to my mom if she's watching this. She hooked me up with a Venezuelan meal for me. I got some arepas, and I got tequeños, and I got chicha. Ooh! So, of course, I made a list of things that I wanted to do on my birthday, but realistically, not everything. We didn't get to do everything I wanted to do on the list. But here we are at the Houston Farmer's Market. It's a little far drive from me, but if you... After this video, if you get a chance to go there, please go there. It's honestly, it's amazing. I loved it. It reminded me of Venezuela. That's where I'm from. And I just love the energy there. I love the atmosphere. I love the live music. It was, it was a whole experience. With this farmer's market, when we got here, it was around 1 or 2. So it was a little later in the day. And I'm saying this because you don't have to come early to worry about parking and see if you're going to find a spot. You will. Trust me, there is plenty of parking and it is free. I will touch more on what they have to offer a little bit later. But right now what we're seeing is we are going to eat at Comalito. Is it? I don't even know because I'm shaking the hand. Yeah, I think it's Comalito. Honestly, guys... I am not 100% a food critic, you know, just take this with a grain of salt, but I will say this. I've had a lot of I've had a lot of tacos in my life, okay? And never ever ever have I had the nastiest tacos in my life, okay? These were so bad, okay? Very very bad. They weren't too high priced, but honestly, I'm just here to tell you and save you the money. Man, we ordered the beef tacos. They were not good at all. I didn't even record it. It just, it was not good. What is this? It's sea sea moss. Moss. Super food. We usually like, do like hair products, body products, all that stuff. We just so loud, man. I'm scared of chill. It ain't bad. Just like a smoothie. Appreciate it, brother. Appreciate it. You made it? Yes, sir. Sure, yeah. I thank my family, man. I have to get it right for them. They pink. <laughs> Pan dulce is sweet bread. Conchas is like a Mexican, like sweet. I've never tried conchas, but they have that. I've tried conchas. You have? Yep. Are you serious? It, isn't that that bread stuff? Yes, yeah, kind of. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I've never tried it. every other week. So here you get a better view of some of what the farmers market has to offer. All of the vendors are outside. Luckily for us, it wasn't too cold. It was just right this day. 
If you're planning to visit, please check out the Houston Farmers Market website. That way you can see what events they have going on that day. I knew ahead of time that the Grinch was going to show up, so when I saw him, it was no surprise. But it was kind of neat because you can get to take pictures with him for free. And that is, can also be a great experience for your kids. So on this day that we went, we got to see a lot of things from clothes to mugs to, as you can see now, crochet. And these little mugs were pretty unique. Um, I got to talk to the owners. They were very nice. And that's what you will see with a lot of these vendors. They're very nice, very nice people, uh, very well-priced items. And now I will share a little crazy story later on in the video. What else did they have to offer? Candles, homemade candles, safe for dogs, jewelry, food. Man, they had everything. How can I be homophobic? My bitch is gay. Hit man in a top chair, see a man topless, even a stick is gay. Hugging my brothers and say that I love them, but I don't swing that way. The man. Would you like to sample any of our mushroom coffee and tea? Uh, sure. So for our tea, we have uh, matcha, and for coffee flavors, um, we are out of our vanilla, but we normally have that. But we have caramel, we chocolate, chai, pumpkin spice. And our sweet and spicy, which is like a Mexican hot chocolate. Um, I'll do. <laughs> you gave me so many options. So. You can try multiples if you want. Yeah. They're just little samples, so it's not a big deal. For the, you said coffee. What was the other thing? A matcha tea. Let's do the matcha tea. I'll try that. Okay. Please. I feel like I've tried matcha one time and I didn't like it, but I feel like maybe it was just that place. But wow, there's a lot, a lot to choose from here. Oh look! Oh, I like that one. Oh wow! Yeah. Do you recognize anybody else? <laughs> Wait. Oh look at this! Oh look, Yoda. Starbucks and Yoda. <laughs> Perfect combo. <laughs> oh, look, they got some shirts. Mm. Oh, look at this one. That's what I just pointed Oh, I thought you were pointing at this one. Oh, that's Kakashi. Let me see, let me see. Oh, this one's tight. Look at all the detail on it. Oh, it's tight. Oh, look at um Sakura with a little tongue out. I decided to give you guys a little break from my voice. So around this little area is where I have my little stories. So I was dressed pretty nice this day and you guys saw my coach purse and Ty was dressed really nice. Anyways, I say all that to say this. We go to a jewelry stand and I want to try on this bracelet and before that, the lady had complimented my purse, and she was just noticing what I had. I like the bracelet. I'm asking her how much it is, and this lady tells me $150. What? I'll finish the story later on. Okay, look, babe, this. I'm over here. But this one, I was going to say, this is what is, like, back home. Like, on the streets, this is what you see. Oh, look, they're even selling, uh... Plants. It smells fresh too. It is fresh. Everything here smells real. Oh. I wonder I wonder what plants these are. That's the snake plant right there. That's what you got me. That's a rose. Anyways, y'all let me know if I'm being dramatic or do y'all think she was trying to finesse too because I'm sorry, $150 for what? Then she was trying to say it was 24k gold. Look, col colon cleanse teeth. Did you see that? Colon cleanse. Colon cleanse tea. Arthritis. Colon cleanse tea. Hmm. Oh, 
Oh, look at this. I wonder what they sell here. Oh, it says micheladas. So this area is by the greenhouse where the big roof is. And this is where all of the markets are. As you guys can see, they have food, they have plants, they have remedies, you name it. They have toys, all that good stuff. Now this reminds me of a store back home. While I was editing this, I was kind of creeped out by the whistling because I was thinking, oh my God, El Silbon. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this month. Oh my god. As a now plant mom, I get shocked whenever I see other people's plants. I get happy, okay? And then I get even more happy when I recognize the plant and I can name it, okay? <laughs> For me, that's goals. Anyways, this little store was kind of in the middle of the right side portion of the market because there's two sides, the left and right side. I have shown it on video, but it's hard for me to record the market out there because there's a lot of people and I don't want to make anybody uncomfortable with my camera. But anyways, this little store was so cute. They had so many goodies. I love the vibes in there. It was very colorful. Um, one way to explain it. And they had a little section towards the left that's what i'm looking at right now where they were selling vintage pieces vintage clothes shirts pants for a, actually a good price and i'm kind of sad i didn't get anything but when i'm recording i'm more focused on recording than really looking at things you gotta hit your shoulders is this a half michael jackson move or it's like this you gotta hit that Have you ever seen those candles? I saw that one time and I thought it was so funny. With Snoop Dogg on it? No, it's, oh, like, that's it's like, no, they're Jesus candles, but instead of Jesus, it's... We got Kanye on one. You need this one. To eliminate hoes? Yes. Town floor, and you know I'm going out. So if you want her birthday, take her out to the club and set up with the dub. Yeah, what's the dub? That's a twenty dollar can. Probably got it. Just say S and P. I win. Never ever pretend. Uh, okay. Many men, dead presidents in my pocket. Got a lot of it, and you gotta love it the way I'm thinking. Uh, pockets kind of chubby, lovely look, and she looking at me like I'm famous. <laughs> Oh my god. Is this like a. Are they selling it? Yeah, so. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Oh my god, this is so cool. So I almost scrapped all the footage from here, but honestly, 
I just wanted to show you guys that your birthday won't go exactly as you planned. We came here because of TikTok and it was a fail. It was not what I thought it was, put it that way. So right now we are getting some drinks at Specs because we are going to the club tonight. So I'm excited. I have no clue what we're going to get. Hello you guys, it's a little bit later in the day. As you guys saw, we went to... What have we what all have we done today so we went to the houston farmers market and that was super fun it reminded me of another of a flea market that i went to last year and i'll link that video if you guys want to see that video and what else did we do we so we went to this restaurant that i saw on tiktok i'm never gonna follow tiktok videos again because that was just mm -mm. it's this restaurant car this restaurant called pergola well it was not a restaurant it was a hookah lounge and not the vibes i'm going for for my birthday i'm trying to have a nice sit down restaurant it wasn't the vibes no so we left that and that's where we're gonna that's where we were going to eat for my birthday dinner scratch that then we went home to feed spider let her out because you know i can't leave my baby out there alone all day in the house then we just left got some alcohol we're gonna pregame for it later on tonight we're gonna go to the club uh what else right now we're on our way to the food another food place that ty likes he said he's already tried it he says it's good the menu looks promising and the reviews looks promising too you guys know i'm a yelper mm -hmm, i be yelping okay so i'm really excited about that the food looks good and i'm hungry okay i'm really really hungry and yeah we'll just see where the rest of the day takes us it's pretty late now it's almost eight o'clock so i know i haven't been talking but just vibe we're just vibing with the video i guess i didn't say this but i am officially turned or oh, i officially turned 24 so Thank you. 